is up you guys? It is Katya Bolts. Welcome back to my channel. So yes, um, if you have any questions about the bruising and the tape, go check out my last week's video. That will answer it. Today, we are here to try vegan sausages. Because I've never tried these before, and I thought, hell, well, why not try it with you guys? And now that I've been much looser with allowing sometimes gluten in my diet, I'm super stoked to try it with these guys because they look so good. And I just have not tried them because I had cut gluten out for so long. So I'm super stoked. But yes, we are trying, if you saw already, the Field Roast Sausages. They have also these like breakfast sausages that are nice and small. I've had those before, they're delicious. These are like their regular sized ones. I mean, don't worry, it's not the size that matters. It's how you cook it. Let's, let, let's go with that. But anyways, we're gonna be trying these guys out today. We have three different flavors. I think these are the only flavors. These are the ones that I found. So they have a smoked apple sage, Italian and a Mexican chipotle. So I'm not really sure how to cook these, but I'm hoping it has some directions on it. Yes, it has some directions. So I'm gonna cook these up. It says clip one end of sausage with scissors, cut down the length of the sausage halfway and remove plastic casing. And then grill and after grill or brown and saute pan with a little oil using medium heat or break up sausage with fingers to use the sausages, stir fries, and scrambles and avoid overcooking. So I'm gonna just do it on the pan, not on the grill because I don't feel like going that extra mile. So we're just gonna do it on a pan. I'm gonna skip that step because that ain't really feel like important, but Let's try cutting one of these guys open. I really want to see what it looks like inside. All right, I got the apple, smoked apple sage with me right here. So we're gonna just open this up. I'm gonna, ooh, got a little stuck. There's one of the sausage links. This is crazy looking. Oh my gosh, it's, they're all four linked together, of course. Um, I got some Caesars. Let's see, it just says, cut it off so I don't know I'm just trying to like snip this I'm sorry I can't like bend this I'm using I got one of those circle lights and I can't like bend down the camera for you to see me cut this unless I like adjust the height of the tripod thing okay there we go so it's just cut off um so let's try opening this I don't know I've never seen ones like this I've had like vegan chorizo before Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. Um, but these guys are a first for me. First time for everything. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Um, let's see if I can like rip this open. I know, this is so just exciting. You, I, I know you guys are like, oh my God. <laughs> Best video, Katya. Give her, give her an award, you know. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying my best here and I like got these and I thought it'd be fun to try with you guys because I'm like, man, you know, it's fun to try vegan products and if you're like hesitant about wanting to try them and you're like, well, how do they taste? Well, that's why I am here for you guys to, to let you know. Oh my gosh, this peels off really easily. I was afraid this was going to fall apart, but boom, it's a perfect, oh, it smells like a sausage. That's kind of freaky. That is so freaky, but anyways. So I'm gonna cut the other two, and just like cut them open. And then we are going to put them on a pan and then I'll catch you guys afterwards when they're all cooked up. I'm just gonna do like the spray nonstick oil. I'm not gonna use anything crazy. And then for like, I don't know, a minute or two, we'll see how it turns out, but I'll catch you guys afterwards. All right, you guys, here we go. Ooh. Sorry about the angle, hopefully that works well. I just wanted you guys to be able to see what I'm eating. This is almost turning into like a mukbang. I probably haven't seen this like background in a while. It's been a while since I've done like an eating kind of thing. Like last mukbang I did in my room. So it's not a mukbang, we're just test, taste testing these sausages. So don't freak out, the video is not gonna be too, too long. So let's go ahead and dig it. They smell so amazing, like holy crap. Um, this one here is the apple, smoked apple sage, whatever you want to call it. And man, they look so good. It was killing me. And luckily I'm so hungry. Oh my gosh. It smells 
freaking amazing. So yes. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not super hot, so I probably could have left it on the stove top a little longer. I was worried about overcooking because it says do not overcook, so I didn't know what that meant. But oh my gosh, really good, mild flavor. Um, it doesn't like directly remind me of sausage. It just feels like something of I don't know, like sausage flavors put into like a rolled shape. I don't know, you know what I mean? If that makes any sense. Ugh, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, we'll see how the other flavors taste, but yeah, it's so far so good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's really good. I wish it was a little stronger in flavor, but other than that, I like it a lot. So this one is the Mexican Chipotle. Oh man, it smells so good. It, it leaked a little bit of a juice and I licked it and it was spicy. So I'm guessing this is gonna be spicy, but it looks delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, okay. There's a little kick there. Definitely reminds me of like a chorizo. But that is so good. I would love to try it like it's said, like where you can crumble it up and put in a scramble. Do a tofu scramble with this. Oh my goodness. It would be a little higher in fat. Mmm. By the way, oh that's spicy. Um, each of these have 20 grams of protein, about 11, between 11 and 13 carb, and I think about seven to eight fat. So it's pretty fair for one sausage. Oh, that is so spicy. So I'm getting a lot of protein in right now because this is made from, I believe, safe and so wheat gluten. That's why I would never eat these in the past. Oh my gosh, that is so good though. This one, we've got Italian, which I'm so excited for because I so love Italian sausage. So, mmm, mmm, mm -hmm. They did a really good job with the spices in this one, with the caraway. Oh man, that really makes it Italian sausage -y. Now compared to like the Beyond Meat sausage, I feel like that has more so the meaty flavor, where this has the meaty texture and then the spices that would go into those types of sausages, there's not as much the meaty flavor. So if you want to get a meat replacement and you want it to taste meaty as well, I would say Beyond Meat is the way to go. But if you want something that's still high in protein and has that texture and you don't care too much if it tastes like meat or not and you just want the replacement, these guys are delicious. I can't remember how much they cost, but I found them at Walmart. You can get them at Sprouts and everywhere else, but I found them at Walmart, and so that was a pretty good deal. But, mm, mm hmm Wow. No, these are amazing. The breakfast sausages are also very, very good. So I am loving these. I might just eat them all, like right now, because I'm really hungry and I have to go to the gym in a bit. Mm. I'm gonna finish this up so that this doesn't turn into a mukbang in a really long video. And then I'll catch you guys at the end to give my final consensus. All right guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of this review of the field roast sausages and taste test. All that kind of fun stuff. I really enjoyed doing this with you guys as I'd love to give my honest opinion on some of these vegan products for you guys, for anyone who may be wondering, just like I was. So if you did enjoy this video, do give it a nice big thumbs up. Oh, forgot to say, my favorite, I would say is the Italian, second favorite Mexican Chipotle, and third, the smoked apple sage. As for if I would plan on buying it again, Possibly, I can't remember the cost. I feel like they were like five or six dollars, so they might be a little costly for some people. And I'm gonna also see after eating three sausages at once how my body reacts to the gluten. If I like bloat, it gives me headaches, then, then maybe I'll buy it, but like pace it out how I eat it. So I'm gonna just see how I feel because I am about to go to the gym. Um, yes, but otherwise, they were amazing. Super happy with them once again. If you want to go try them and you're not too big on needing something to taste meaty but you like meatier textures these are definitely your way to go 
Italian sausage, so, so good. Smoked apple sage, very light flavor, and the Mexican chipotle definitely had a kick, so be warned, unless you really like spicy food. But if you don't, then you may not like it. All right, guys. Anyways, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We're almost to 2,000 subscribers. It's been a long journey, but I couldn't have made it this far without you guys, so please do join the family, and let me know down below in the comment section what you'd like to see next. I do believe we may have a protein powder review next. So stay tuned for that. If there are any pre-workouts you'd like for me to try as well, I'm looking for something new to try. So please shoot down some suggestions down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have tried or would like me to talk about and I don't know, all that kind of fun stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I just stabbed my eye. That was smart. Bye.